Hey guys, good morning, good morning. Oh, happy Saturday. That was my alarm. Time to be here. All right, good morning, good morning. I think today I have this working. Something on the screen. Um, welcome to Strength. I'm Nicole. We'll give this a minute to make sure it's working. I've had some issues with my Facebook Live. Yay! It's working! All right, good morning, Kathy. I should have known on Tuesday when I didn't get one thumbs up that something was not right. At least a courtesy thumbs up, right? So, anyways, happy Saturday. Um, I'm Nicole. Uh, this morning we'll be doing strength. And um, so all you need is a couple sets of weights. So if you have something light, medium, and heavy, that would be great. And then um, I'm going to be using a bench. Um, I think, oh, there it is. You can see the bench. Uh, so you'll need a bench or a chair or a step. So any of those things, if you don't have any of those things, don't worry. You'll be fine. I'll show you a modification that you can do. So everything that we do on the bench, you can do on the floor. The bench will just give you a, hi, Mario. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to see people. I've had lots of trouble with this Facebook lately. So um, thank you for giving me a good morning thumbs up. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start your watches and we'll get warmed up. Scooch back, make sure I'm in here. All right, let's start with our marches. So if you're just joining me, we're just getting warmed up. All you need this morning are weights, a bench, chair, step of some kind, if you have it. If you don't, don't panic, don't turn it off. I'll find something else for you to do. And probably a sweat towel and water. Maybe a mat if you're using the floor. Good morning, good morning. All right, yay, Becky, it's working. All right. So, just getting warmed up, guys. Remember, to start your watches. Everything I do, there's a modification for it. So, if there's something that's not working, I'll try to give you a modification or you just find something else that works for you. All right, let's add those hip circles and that little shuffle up and over, getting those hips and glutes warmed up. Nice work, you guys. Up and over. Well, I hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving. Still burning off a few of those extra calories, right? So strength training will be great for that. Four more. Three, two, and one right there. All right, let's hold it there. Do a little balance. And we're gonna do a little leg lift. So I've got that knee at 90 degrees. Just a little hip lift. If you're all over the place, try to find something to balance on. But I want you to work a little stability here and get that glute warmed up. Good work. Abs are pulled in, standing nice and strong in that standing leg. Four, three, two, hold it here, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Shake that leg out and switch sides. Get that little lift. Knee is bent at 90 degrees. So now that standing leg is getting that stability and balance. And this one's warming up that hip, glute. Good job, you guys. Nice. Four, three, two, hold it here. And a little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Shake out those legs. 
All right, we're gonna just do a little alternating lunge forward. So you're gonna lunge forward and come back, lunge forward and come back. And then what we're gonna do is add an arm, open up that chest, come back. Just getting that upper body involved a little bit. Squeeze those shoulder blades, stretching that chest. Warming those shoulders up. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's get one set of squats. Down and up. Good work sitting back in those heels. Pushing those heels into the floor, squeezing those glutes at the top, chest is lifted, and breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, get a little tricep squeeze, three, two, and one. All right. Active stretch here for those quads. All right. So we're going to be using our bench or step or chair. We're going to be doing step ups. These can be weighted or um, just your body weight. Okay, sorry, I just wanted to, something popped up. I wanted to make sure we're still going. All right, get a little hamstring stretch really quick. Again, just active stretching here, part of our warm up. We're not going to hold anything too long. We're still warming up. All right, I got to tie my shoe. All right, so our step ups. I'm going to slide this this way a little bit. So I'm a little bit more in the middle. All right, so step ups. If you're holding weights, they're gonna be right at your side. You're gonna go up. We're gonna lead. Actually, I'm sorry, we're gonna alternate every other leg. So standing nice and tall. Make sure your entire foot is in that uh, on that bench or that step or that stool, whatever you've got. If you don't have any of that and you're just on the floor, then I want you to do a reverse lunge, knee up. Reverse lunge, knee up. Do about eight on one side, switch, eight on the other, and then keep doing that. All right, so go ahead and grab whatever weight that you're gonna use for that. Like I said, if you don't wanna use any weight, perfectly fine, I guarantee you'll still feel it. All right, here we go. So I'm alternating lead legs, abs are in, chest is lifted. Good. Pressing that entire foot into that bench. Engaging those glutes, quads, pretty much everything. Lowering. Nice and controlled, so trying not to just plop down. This might get your heart rate going too a little bit, so this would be a nice calorie burn right here. Those large muscles. Good work, you guys. You might be going faster, you might be going slower. It's all good, but your pace, depends on what weights you might be holding too. <sighs> Breathe. All right, I'm gonna do eight more. Eight. Seven. Three, 
Two more. Two. And one. Right there. Good work. All right. So from there, we're going to take it into chest press. So we're going to give those legs a break. I'm going to rotate this a little bit. So chest press. If you're, if you don't have a bench, you can do this on the floor, right? Maybe your chest press though would be a little bit, uh, the range of motion would be smaller. Maybe you want to do a chest fly on the floor. Also depends on what weights you have. All right. So if you've got that bench or step, we're going to roll back. Make sure that back is in a neutral position and press up. Slide those shoulder blades back and bring it down and press. Good job, you guys. Inhale down, exhale up. Good work. Breathe. Nice and controlled in both directions. <clears throat> Keep that neutral position on your back. I have to keep my feet up on the bench because this bench is a little tall. My back would arch otherwise. So, all right, we're going to do eight, seven, six, five, four. down where you're at. Great. I have to roll up a little bit. This bench is just a little bit too tall, but we're going to roll right back and go into some bicycle abs. All right. Here we go. So back stays flat to your bench, to the floor, to your mat, whatever you're laying on. Just rotating. Hands are light behind your head. We drive that knee up, flex those feet. Good job, you guys. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And one right there, a little hug. Good job. Use the knee to roll up or roll to one side. All right, we're going to repeat that whole thing. So we've got our step ups. I'm going to turn my bench. <clears throat> Grab a drink if you need it. All right. All right, so standing nice and tall. Remember, we're alternating lead legs. Make sure that entire foot is up on that bench, that step, that chair, wherever you're at. Make sure you're on a good solid surface that it's not gonna slide around either. All right, here we go. Like I said, depending on your weight, how high your bench is, all of that might change the speed that you're going. So don't feel like you have to go my speed. You very well could be going faster, could be going slower. 
If you don't have any bench or any step, you could do this on your bottom stair, right? Or you're doing those reverse lunges. Maybe you do four on one side, four on the other. Keep switching until we're all done. Good job, you guys. Try to keep that chest lifted. Breathe. Really driving that foot into that bench. Lowering nice and controlled. Definitely get my heart rate up on this one. Whew. Good work, you guys. All right, I've got about eight more. Maybe you're getting a few more than me. Come on, push yourself. Keep going. That's seven. <coughs> That's six for me. Five. Four. Come on, finish strong. Three. One right there. Keep going. If you still got a few more in there, come on, push yourself. Get uncomfortable. Woo! Good work. All right. Yeah, 157. It's a pretty good heart rate, huh? All right. So we got chest press next. Maybe you need to catch your breath a second. And then when you're ready, you're going to roll it back. Remember, we've got that neutral spine. Shoulders are down. Lower it nice and controlled. And press up. So if you're on a bench of some kind, then you get a little bit more range of motion, right? Because your elbows can drop below your chest. The weights go about chest height. If you're on the floor though, your elbows would obviously hit the floor and so your range of motion would be a lot smaller, um, but that's okay. You can either keep doing that or take it to a chest fly or throw in some push-ups. So just trying to work that chest. <sighs> Inhale as you come down, exhale as you come up. Good job, you guys. Keep breathing. Nice work. Again, your speed might vary a little bit, and so would your reps, depending on how heavy or light your weights are. So again, we want you to challenge yourself. We want you to fatigue. Maybe you need to go a little faster. <sighs> Doing a little more muscular endurance. Love it, whatever works for you. I'm gonna do about eight more. So that's eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, good work you guys, come on, two, got one more, and one right there, nice job, okay I'm going to set my weights down but I got to roll up to do it, so if you're right there just stay there, we're going to go right into those bicycles, remember if bicycles don't work then you want to do a basic crunch, Love it. Double crunch. Dead bug. Okay, just trying to challenge that core. So find something that works for you right here. Good 
Good job, you guys. Hands are light behind your head. Really crunching that oblique. Keeping that back flat to the bench. Good job, almost there. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there, a little hug. Good job. Use a knee to roll up. Awesome. We should have stretched while we were down there. Forgot, so let's open up that chest. I always like that stretch, but we'll do this one. Good work. Nice job. All right. So grab a drink, grab a sweat towel. We are moving on to our next round. So we are doing uh, back and bridges. So we're going to do single arm rows. I'm going to slide my bench back a little bit. All right. So this is the one where we're right here. We're going to do single arm rows, um, one on each side, and then we're going to do some bridges where we put our feet up on the bench. Again, if you don't have the bench, you can do this on the floor. Totally fine. All right. So if you have a, be a bench of some kind high like this, you're going to have one hand on, one hand on, or knee on, one hand on, back is flat. You could do this on a low bench as well. You could do this right here and just support your um, back with planting that hand on that other knee right here. All right? All right, so here we go. Pulling that weight to the top of that hip bone. Back is flat. Squeeze that shoulder blade. So squeeze and then lower it down nice and controlled. Squeeze. So really being intentional with these. Belly button's pulled in just a little bit, just enough so we're aware of it. Good job, you guys. Okay, we're going to do four more just like that. Four. Three. Two, one more like that. We got eight singles. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Woo. All right, so if you have the bench, you just rotate around. Other side. One arm on, one knee on. Otherwise, you're just supporting your your leg uh, or supporting your back by putting that hand on your leg right here. There we go. So that works. Or if you had a chair, you could use a chair for this. Works great. All right. Good. Pulling that weight up. Top of that hip bone. Squeeze that shoulder blade back. Try to keep those shoulders level. So I'm not really rotating towards the computer or anything. Just really squeeze that shoulder blade, let it down slow. Squeeze that shoulder blade, let it down slow. <sighs> Looking out in front of my hand, trying to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine. All right, you guys, we're going to do four more like that. Four. Three. Two. One more. One. Eight singles. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Yes. Uh, little burnage there. Get a little stretch. 
All right, we are gonna match that with some bridges. So I'm gonna be putting my feet up, so I'm gonna be laying on the floor. So you probably just see my feet and my knees in the air, but um, if you want weights, you're gonna put them right on the top part of your thighs. If you don't want any weight, it's totally fine. You'll still feel this. We're gonna be trying to squeeze those hamstrings and glutes. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of weight to start. But you can always start with weight and then uh, put them to the side. So I'm gonna scooch close to that bench, placing those heels on that bench. If you've got your weights, they're right on your upper thighs. You'll need an app for me to help you with that. Oops. Waking up Siri, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna push, squeezing those hamstrings, squeezing those glutes. Good job, you guys. Pressing those hips to the ceiling, and then they barely come down, and then press up. Barely tap down and press. If I didn't have any weight, I would just have those weights off to the side. Still thinking about squeezing those hamstrings, pushing those heels into the bench or the um, chair or the floor. So trying to engage those hamstrings and glutes. Four. Three, two, hold it at the top, hold it here, a little pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take it down, and press, down, and press, yes, this should be burning, and press, down, and hold, lift, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right there, good job. Release all the way down, get a little stretch. The second time through, we'll stretch a little longer. Just extend those legs though. Good job. Carefully roll it to the side and we will sit up. All right, so we're gonna do a second round of those. How we doing out there? Oh, got my sister on there, that's good. All right, so second round, we've got those rows to start. Remember, you can always start with one weight and then lower that weight. All right, back is flat, abs are pulled in, pull that weight, top of that hip bone. Keep those shoulders down, squeeze that shoulder blade and release. Squeeze it back and release. Good job, you guys. All right, let's do four more like that. Four. Remember, maybe you're going a little faster. Maybe you're getting more reps. Come on, challenge yourself. Depends on what the weight is. One more. All right, I got eight singles. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Five, squeeze that shoulder blade. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, good work. All right, we got that other side. All right, 
back is flat. Here we go. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Good work, you guys. Just looking out in front of that hand. Good work. Nice, make each one count. about four of these. Four, three, two, one more, one, eight singles. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, stretch that out. All right, so we've got those bridges next. All right, so if you wanted those added weights, grab those added weights. If not, then we will, um, you can just do this without weights. You can do this on the floor. If you're on the floor, because you don't have a bench, and it's not challenging enough, then definitely add weight or do a single leg. And again, do about eight on one side, eight on the other. So that would be one way to challenge if you're on the floor without any raised surface. All right, here we go. Pressing in, think about those hamstrings, squeezing those glutes. Right there, you got that $100 bill. You know where it is. Good job, you guys. Just barely tapping down and then pressing up. Four, three, two, one more. Hold it at the top. Eight presses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down and up. That's four. Down and up. Three. Down and up. Two. Last one here. Hold it up. Eight presses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one bring it down and press good job you guys come on stay with me down and press down and press one more and press eight singles eight seven six five four three two and one last round down and press down and press, yes, this should be challenging. And press, one more. And press and hold, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> All right, right there, little stretch. Straighten that leg, hit that hamstring. And I know you got a lot of glute too, so Cross it over, pull that knee in. Woo! Good work, you guys. All right, let's get a nice stretch though while we're down here. Take advantage of this position. Switch sides, get that nice straight leg first. Lengthen that hamstring. Keep breathing and cross that foot over. Pulling that knee into your chest. Good 
Good work. <sighs> nice job, you guys. All right, roll it to one side. Whew. All right. Carefully getting up off the floor. Listen to your body, right? If you feel lightheaded or dizzy, just hang out here for a second and then slowly, slowly come up. All right, we are going to do a seated bicep curl. So if you have your bench or a chair, you're going to be right on the end, right here. We're just going to do a seated bicep curl, and then we're going to go right into some dips off the bench or the chair. If you don't have a bench or chair, then you'll just do a standing curl, and then you could always do dips on the floor. It just would be a real small range of motion, but I guarantee you'll still feel it, or you could do kickbacks, or do skull crushers on the floor, so um, any combination for those triceps. All right, so starting with the uh, bicep curl. Remember, you can always start with one weight nearby and then switch it out. So I'm going to start with a certain weight and then I might need to switch it out. All right, so sitting up nice and tall, shoulders are down, abs are pulled in. I'm going to start, curl, and back down. So by, see, by sitting, we're going to see if we can avoid any swinging, any arching of our back, just getting those biceps. But if you start to lose that form, right, you can always alternate one side at a time or you lower that weight. Sitting nice and tall, shoulders are back. Try to imagine you've got a string tied to your head so you're just nice and long all the way through that neck. Good job, you guys. Breathe. Keep going like that. I'm going to alternate. If you can still do both, keep doing both. Really squeeze it at the top. Lengthen. So you squeeze, that muscle shortens, and then we're going to lengthen it down. Squeeze, really contract it. Just your bicep. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's do eight more if you got it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more if you got it, come on, and one right there. Good work. Stretch those biceps out a little bit. All right, we're going to slide over. We're going to go into some dips. So this is where we are going to have our hands just um, on that bench. The farther your legs are away, the harder it's going to be. And then as you get tired, you start to kind of pull those legs in. Just watch that you don't drift so far out here that it really pulls on those shoulders. All right, here we go. We're just going to take it down and then press. Really pressing the palm or the heel of your hand into that seat or bench, chair, whatever it is. Really squeezing the triceps. Like I said, if this is not working, you could even do a seated overhead single arm, two arm, you could do it on the floor. 
Lots of options. Good job, you guys. are coming in closer. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Good job. Shake those arms out. Good job. All right. Let's uh, let's actually sit. If you have the bench um, or even a chair, you could sit. We're gonna bring those knees up. Definitely can do this on the floor, right? So I've got my hands back, just a little bit extra support for my back, but you don't have to do that. You want a little more challenging? You can have those hands here. You could also do one leg. Keep going. So you're just really trying to hollow out though. Pull that belly button in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Good job, you guys. All right, so second round for those biceps. So again, maybe you start with a certain weight, but then have another one nearby in case you need to lighten the load. All right, here we go. This round, let's do hammer curls. I forgot I was going to switch it up. So you roll right here and down. Right here and down. So try not to swing those weights. And down. Nice and tall. Got that string. Tied to your head, shoulders are down, shoulders are back. One more like that. All right, so we're gonna add a little pulse in the middle, just a single pulse. So you're gonna take it up, pulse, and then all the way up, and then slowly down. Up halfway, little pulse, all the way up. Slowly down. Halfway up. Little pulse. All the way up. And slowly down. Keep going. Keep going. You can alternate. I'm switching these out just a little bit. Halfway. Squeeze. And slowly down. Halfway. Little pulse. Squeeze it up. And slow. I can still alternate, right? Lots of options. Good work, you guys. Come on, take a little break if you need it. We're gonna do two more of these. One more. All right, single alternating right here. So we're going a little bit quicker. Try not to swing them though. Don't let them go way back here. Good work. Come on, we're just burning these out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one right there. Nice job, you guys. All right. If you need to stretch those biceps out, turn those hands, palms 
down and back. Good job. All right, we've got those dips or any kind of tricep. So if those dips don't work, you can just do regular uh, tricep kickbacks, laying on the floor, doing uh, skull crushers, right? All right, here we go. If you're doing dips, remember as you get tired, just pull those feet in a little bit closer or you can pause for a second, kind of rest, and then come back in. Come on. Challenging yourself though, right here. Getting uncomfortable. And then getting a few more, come on. Good job, you guys. Come on. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. We can't alternate on dips, can we? Ah, oh, little stretch. Good work, you guys. That other side. Good job. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to slide my bench out of the way. We're going to do a side side lunge with a shoulder press. So whatever you can do, whatever you can handle for that shoulder. Um, and again, you can always start with one weight and then lightly load. All right, but you're going to have one weight and one in the opposite hand that you step out. So you're going to do your side lunge, come up and press. Side lunge, press. So remember that side lunges, toes are front. You're sitting back on this heel, right? Really sitting that rear end back and then coming back to center. So we're still getting a good squat burn, inner thigh work. All right, so let's just stay one side. We're gonna do about 12. So we come here and press. There's one, two, three, four, Five, six, we got six more, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Good work. All right other side. So remember that side lunge, both toes forward, sit back, press up. So I'm going to leave my hand right here, sit back, press. All right, we get 12 of these. One, two, three, four, Five, six, six more, five, four, three, two, last one, one, Whew. good job, nice work you guys. All right, we're really close. Okay, let's throw in a calf raise. We're gonna just do one round of calf raises. So make these really good. But then we're gonna do a second set of what we just did. 
and then we stretch, okay? So challenge yourself with these calf raises. Because we're only doing one round. All right, we're gonna do our 10 slow, 10 quick in each direction. So toes are front to start. So up, slow. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten quick. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, turn those toes out. Up slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job, you guys. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten quick. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right. Toes are in. Keep those heels out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, heels out, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, all right, we're gonna do one more round of those side lunges. And then we're gonna do one little bonus for those shoulders where you'll need your lighter weights. All right, so side lunges, 12 on each side, and then a little bonus shoulder work. So one side, sitting back, toes are front, really get that stretch and then press. There's one, two, three, four, five, Come on, you got this. Five, four, three. Here we go. Two more on this side. Two and uh, one. <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Whew. All right, here we go. Side lunge and press. Side lunge. And press. That's two, three. The first four always feel really good, and then it starts to go downhill. Five, six. We're already halfway. Six, five. Good job, you guys. Come on. Four. Finish strong. Three. Two and one. Woo. Good work. All right, shake those arms out. We're going to just do one round of front raises, side raises, and then reverse up and over. All right, one. One and done. All right. So you're going to probably want something just a little bit lighter. <clears throat> All right. So, and you can alternate these two. Let's start with front raises. Let's shoot for 12. Okay. 12, 12, 12. We are done. Here we go. One. So shoulders are down. Shoulders are back. Just going height, shoulder height, two, three, if I'm alternating, 
four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, and one to the side. One, two, three. I could go 90 degrees. Four, five. I could alternate. Six, six, five. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, we got reverse. Up and over, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, six more, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there, nice job you guys. All right, shake those arms out. Good work today. 58 minutes of work. Nice job. All right, let's get a little bit of a stretch. You guys, if you stuck with me this long, just give me a couple more minutes. Let's get some nice stretches. Let's stretch those quads. So reaching for that foot, pulling it straight behind. If you're all over the place, then hang on to something for a little balance. Good work. Awesome job this morning. I'm just so glad my Facebook worked today. All right, and then we're gonna take that foot in front, flex that foot, put your weight on that other leg, the standing leg, and just sit back. Think about lengthening that hamstring. Keep breathing. Now reach for that toe if you can, or just flex that foot really hard so you get a little bit more calf stretch, hamstring. Keep breathing. And bring it up. All right, switch sides. Getting that nice stretch in the front of your leg, that quad. And take that foot in front, sit back, that weight's on that standing leg. Just starting with that hamstring stretch. And reach for that toe for a little more stretch. work you guys and bring it up open up that chest and we're going to just take it out to the side getting a nice side stretch and then lean it to the other side breathe and one more time to the other side and switch last time And release those arms and just let your body hang there. Maybe you slide those feet in just a little bit. Just try to let everything relax and lengthen. Give your head a little nod, yes and no. Just think about your head just sort of pulling your spine down, lengthening everything. Give me one more deep breath while we're down here. Place those hands above your knees and roll it up. Give me a nice deep breath up. Clasp those hands and get a nice side stretch. Oh, 
inhale up and exhale other side. And release. Awesome job today, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a great Saturday today. Um, remember, keep moving. Find something that you like to do. Go do it. I know it's tough. We're all kind of feeling stuck inside or not doing the things we normally like to do and gathering. So uh, just take this time to find something that you like to do and stay safe. And hopefully we'll see you soon. All right. Have a great weekend, you guys.